What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dion with Quality Customer Designs. Back with another video. In today's video, we will be digitizing an image, and um, I'm going to just go off, go and find a good picture to start using. So let's try. Hmm. have so many let's try this you can try to do this one <clears throat> found this picture a while back and this will be for a cap so we're going to put this on the cap hoop. So let's go ahead and start with our base, of course, the background. So let's go ahead and get that started now. I am going to keep that zigzag for the black border. Just change it to white. We can just go for a full circle. Did I make it big enough? Let's see. Looks about right. We'll go with that. So now let's go ahead and hide the background. As you can see over here, the eye, just click it, hide it. And for the most part, it's pretty simple, but we'll have the two circles, the black dots, the words, these two right here. And yeah, I got that. It's pretty much simple. So let's go ahead and start with the background of the words in the inside. Since they are mostly triangular shapes, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the straight, oops, do the straight shapes first. Start with that, change the color to yellow. there and then click X of course to change to a curve to change to the curve shape and Z is to change it back to the straight and of course instead of just having to redo it over over and over again just go ahead and take that and flip, well duplicate, and just flip that, that shape. So you'll have your two yellow. And we're gonna do the same for the green. Click 
X, change it. <clears throat> Click X to change that, and that's how that's going to be. Then, once again, do the same thing duplicate. Then, from there, flip it. Seems to be about right. Okay, and then the words, of course, you can go to your text tool and just find some words that look similar to that. Maybe blocks. Let's see. C R O S S. That looks about right. And then go to transform and see how that comes out and shrink it. So, what I do is hold shift and alt so that I can shrink, shrink the whole thing at once. Doesn't seem too bad, but I'm going to come down here and just the character spacing go up five just to see what I can get from that. Looks about right. Um, let me shrink it one more and one more. Perfect. Looks good. All right. So want to do the same thing well of course first change your color to save it let's call it CC okay so they're not letting you save it because there is something that is visible and hidden so let's come over here open that up and then come back and save it oh, it's already saved as you can see it's right here cool Actually, going to make these words a little bit smaller. That 
this should be good. And also going to shrink these. Well, before I do that, let's go back and hide this. And do these letters here. So what I can do is just duplicate these. bring them down and just spell it different of course C O L O U R S and then down here you're gonna flip it the opposite way there you go like that this a little smaller shrink it okay looking good so far let's try to spread it out some Okay, let's go back because we made it too small. Let's see, try to line it up small. vertical offset so go down no Clear up a little. That looks about right. Bump it up one more. Not too bad. And then what I will do is just rotate it a little. Yeah, I think I did too much. So let me go back. it a little okay that should be good 
Perfect. So that's good there. Hmm. So now we have to make the black part as far as the border and then these two dots over here. Also scoot this up so um, <clears throat> have a little room for that. circles I'm not gonna play with that let's do the shapes just hold shift and duplicate that perfect And for me, just to make it look better, I think I'm going to go satin stitches for both of them. Satin stitches. Not bad. Come over here. So what I think I am going to do is go ahead and make this a black outline right here. Or not black outline, but the black border or a black circle. So let me do that now. to select all of these colors the yellow and the green then select the background and go up to modify overlap and then remove overlap and this will make the cut in between these shapes so that it'll be a gap here in between the colors Okay, so those two didn't go, so I'm going to redo that. I guess I'm going to try to make these a little smaller. Okay, so I'll hold shift and alt and just grab it and shrink it just a little. Looks about right. And then go ahead and just hold control and tap the black background image. And go back over to the home, modify overlap and remove overlap. So now as you can see over here to where all of the squares are cut out. So that did come out great. So 
I'm going to go ahead and make these invisible hide them so now you just see these squares as you can see the X and with that I'm going to turn that to a satin stitch and then come over and go with the auto feel take the under sewing off bump it up to about 200 so 200 on the satin stitch closer on what I stitched out so just look at the stitches and the points and delete that point see that little small dot right there so I want to keep that point and I'm going to delete this one alright and as you can see it kind of fixed it up a little bit it don't have that jagged edge look to it like it would be in a field stitch okay let's see came from uh, so let me zoom in and delete this one okay let's back out <clears throat> do I need to delete anything no nope. what about here Nope, what about here? On this one? Hmm, looks good. So, looks about right. So, what I am going to do is from there, well, let's go ahead and select the shape again. There, like I said, I did it for 200, and I am going to add some pull count to it. That should be good, about two. With satin stitch, because it just goes from one end to the other, back and forth, like a cross just crossing each other um, it tends to of course have a, a larger pool so that's why I add that pool conversation and I'm going to do it too as far as uh, with the border as well and maybe some of the words it all depends um, might not have to but for sure the circle and the outline and the border that's what I am going to use that pool compensation for Oops, sorry. Okay, not bad. Clean that up pretty good. As far as that little bit, but that's not a big issue. But let's go over here to the circles, and I am holding control just to select both. Drop that under sewing and go to 200 with this as well. Perfect, so it can look just a little bit more cleaner. Nah, manual is way better. <laughs> so, I'm going to just go with the manual. And what I am going to do is make 
these visible. Okay. You know what? Turn that off because I forgot to put the two C's. So let's do that now. to transform you can turn that off Get the character spacing you can turn that off just a regular C and just duplicate sewing attributes you can click that click the other C and me personally like I said I take the under sewing off of course you can also save some stitches with that and I'm gonna bump it up to 190 not bad and I'm not gonna add a pull comp to this one I'm gonna do the same with the words so under stitch off, bump it up to 190. Oops, can't do that. Perfect. And do the same thing for these words. Take it off. Density to 190. Looks good. I just have to move these over. So let's go back here and see if I can bump this up some. And just scoot it up. I am going to rotate a little. And move that down. Not bad. <coughs> Not too bad. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. It's looking good. Coming out great. Bag up some. Okay. So. What I am going to do is, once again, like I said, make these visible. Perfect. And I'm going to take this. And, and this is going to go after this. Yeah, there we go. Save it. Oh, yeah, hidden objects. So go over here let's see go here select all and just whatever's hitting we will come out perfect and just save it for now and um looking good just got to make um, a few minor adjustments Looks good for the most part. We're gonna go here, 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 and I'm holding control and here. And I'm gonna bump this up to 165. And add a pull comp to that. Great. And this border, the density, I'm gonna go 200. Oh wait, that was the wrong one. Okay, so 
this is the density of the regular um, fill stitch so I don't want to add too much density to that so let's go back to 165 but for the zigzag which is the border I am going to go 10 mm, no 9 that's good 9 is good Yeah, that is good. And then 165 here. Perfect. So wait, no. So this was the right thing to do, which, which was to go 200. Sorry about that. That is the, the line sew stitch. I forget that the yellow is just for the line stitches. And then this region right here is for the background, which would be the white. So that's 165 to white. And we're going to bump it up with a little bit of pool compensation. And yes, add that 200. And we're going to go 9 with the zigzag. So that's good. I really want to fix these words because it's bumping into the other border. So let's, fi let's fix that now might have to shrink them so I'm gonna hold shift and alt let's do it again vertical offset real quick no yes so let's turn that back off Stretch it just a little. Hmm. I don't think that did anything. just might have to shrink it some more that's about it that's all I can really think of shrink it Okay, maybe that was it. Okay, so oh, there we go. I got you. There we go. Talk to me. Better. Way better. And um, there we go. 
Let's do it. it a little bit that looks better looks good looks good I think I'm gonna do the same for these I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it just a little Um, okay, and nope, no, that's not right. Back up and turn this down. smaller There we go. Looks great. <laughs> Actually looks good. So you are pretty much done for the most part. And this will go on a hat, like I said. Um let me see. Modify the image just to get a clear cut picture of what we're working with. Definitely want to find a brighter green. Hmm. Let's see if I can find a, a brighter green. Let's just go straight over here, select it, and I am clicking the right, the right button on the mouse, and then select the objects. So let's find a lighter green, maybe here. Mm, might be too light. Mm, not here. Nah. We might have to just stick with that green, to be honest. Or this. No. Or this. Hmm. Let's see how it looks in the picture form. See what green is best. No, like a blue. Hmm. Maybe this. I don't know, guys. You're going to have to help me out with this one. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I don't know. Can't really get too close to it. But these are the greens over here. So either that one. No. That might be the closest, which is a moss green. Um, a lime leaf emerald maybe emerald I don't know uh, mint no horrible um, yeah a deep green so can't have it perfect but for the most part I'll just probably go with a moss green 
515. This is a usual and most recent, or not most recent, but um, cutter that I use most of the time. So I'll just probably stick with that the best I can get it. So, yeah, looks great. So I'm going to delete this. No, I'm going to keep it there. So let's change it back. These are the stitched view. You can see how it's going to be stitched out. And let's go back to the realistic stitch out. And as you can see in the corner, you can see right here in the corner where it says realistic. And you can press shift plus F9, um, stitch view F9, and then here goes the solid view. Well, yeah, for the most part, everything is it looks great select that border okay already bumped that up and for this I am already at it two pulls let's see how it looks like one more mm, not bad I can roll with that yeah what you guys think someone asked me to do a video hey look I don't know. Hopefully, I'll deliver, right? <laughs> so, for the most part, this is the cross color. If you guys know, back in the day, um, they had the cross color with the all black, different uh, designer clothes and stuff like that. And I want to say... Uh, when did cross color can't come out? It was in the, was it 90s, I think, around the 90s, the late 80s, early 90s, I want to say Cross Color came out, but um, it's just, you know, it was like hip hop, a hip hop brand, so, but for the most part, uh, they do have amazing clothes too, this is not no um, advertising video, I'm not getting paid to sponsor them or nothing like that, but they do have nice clothes I mean so if you can go ahead they you can go ahead and check out their website and uh, yeah if you want to purchase any clothes from them, go ahead some nice clothes and um, of course we all love to bring back the retro look or the 90s and 80s look so they have some dope looking clothes men and women so go and check it out but for the most part yeah this will conclude the video um, hope you guys like this digitizing video. Uh, if you want to see more, please put that in the comment below and go ahead and like this video. So, of course, you can, you know, get the video out here so everybody else can see it. You know, don't be selfish, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, for the most part, like I said, this is this is it. Let me know what you guys think. How did it compare? Do it look good? Yes, no, maybe so. Delete it. What you, I mean, what you guys think? Like I said, if you want to see more videos like this, Go ahead and put it down in the comment section below and uh, I'll make more videos just like this one. And as always, once again, this is your boy Dion with Quality Custom Designs. Stay blessed and continue to strive for greatness. And I'm out, guys. Peace.